on this episode of Stark Raving Hazelnuts. You know, you can pick up a lot of cool stuff at the Value Village. That's right, you can pick up DVD, Blu-ray, tools. You can pick up fashion, TV sets, home furnishings, and even lots and lots of toys. But the question is, can you buy knockoff toys? Well, on this episode, Johnny Bananas is gonna show you his booty. That's right, I'm gonna bring out all the knockoff toys that I found at Value Village. So don't go away. This is Stark Raving Hazelnuts. What's up guys? Welcome to the show. And as promised, here it is. A collection of five knockoff toys that I found at Value Village. So let's begin and we're going to go from smallest to largest because that seems to be a normal progression here. So let's do that, which means we're going to bring up our first item off the knockoff table. And it's this little guy, a tiny Captain America. Look at that. And his little arms rotate around. Probably go swimming. Look at that. So he's a little spud there. Look at that. Cool. He's bolted in the back. You can see the little bolts. It's the only way. It's not a snap in, it's a bolt in. So he's got a light there. And if you want to exchange or trade out the light, you will need to remove the bolts, take them apart, and switch out the light, which you should kind of do when they go dead anyway, because batteries corrode. And if you ever want to keep the light running on toys, you know you've got to maintain batteries and or take them out if you're not using them. And that goes for any type of toy, high end or low end. So here he is, the light right there. Now you can't actually see it, but on my hand a bit, hard to see. Um, this is a light, but it actually casts a really cool image of the Hulk, which you need to be in total darkness uh, and cast it on a wall, a white wall. And it looks like it's a big image of the Hulk. Which is pretty cool. I've got a couple other toys that do that. So there's the Captain America. Not bad. He's got kind of a, you know, <laughs> a goofy looking face. The paint job. This came as a one piece uh, in a, like a sort of like a plastic blister. And you buy others from the Avengers. He just happened to be sitting on the shelf. I saw it. Knew it was, knew it was a knockoff right away. The, one of the telltale signs of a knockoff generally too is if they have lights in the back. That's generally how you can tell if they're a knockoff, but that's, you know, and of course there's no maker mark anywhere on the body. Anyway, so there it is, Captain America, little spud, put him down, boom, knockoff number one. Let's go on to number two, this Superman. This one I've seen in various, uh, various shapes, forms, comes in a box, comes in a bag, it's cast in red plastic and blue plastic, and the chest here are done in transfer stamps, okay? And on the back we have the cape, a little push pin for the light. Okay, it's got a light there. And uh, that light, you can't, I mean, on, when I flash it into the camera, it's white, but it's actually red like a laser pointer. You might tell a little bit of that, but it's out there. Oh, there we go, there we go. It's like a laser pointer on this thing. And it's like a, a little nylon cape. Yeah. So like I said, he comes in various forms, various styles that I've seen. The thing with toys like this, and in fact, all these toys are like knockoffs have a very short shelf life. When things come out, they go quickly and they disappear quickly. Okay, so there's that Superman. Odd looking face there. Okay, there it is. Little Superman, light as a feather. Now let's move on. The Iron Man, when I first got this Iron Man, when I first saw him on the shelf, I knew right away it was a knockoff. You know, one of the giveaways is the push button on the back. No, and again, you know, just no maker marks or any type of manufacturing companies, dates and ever, what have you. When I first found this guy, he looked like that. So he was really in bad shape. He's seen a lot of playtime. Uh, so what I did was I completely repainted him, as you can see here, totally repainted him. I added some silver here and some silver there to the original, just because I thought it would look nicer. And I repainted it in acrylics, like metallic acrylics, so it would come out shiny and have a nice uh, silver and a nice gold. So again, like this figure and the other ones there, the Superman and the cap, he's bolted in, in parts and snapped together. So to change the battery, you need to take out the bolts and remove the snap together pieces. And the mobility on this is limited to just arms. But you know, I love knockoff toys. I love this goofy stuff because nobody else does. And uh, somebody has to love this stuff. And that somebody is me. 
Okay, let's put him down. He will stay in the collection, believe it or not. And let's move on to a really cool piece. Now, I spoke a bit earlier uh, when I was looking at the Superman and I told you how things disappear uh, from the market quickly. This one came out in 2019, Toy Fair exclusive. I'm guessing that's some kind of fictional toy fair because this is, again, the Avsen Gisers Union Legend and the box, it says... Um, Part 2, May 18. So this is, I guess, Part 3. I don't know. 2019 version. It's the Hulkbuster. These actually were distributed with all the Avengers in them. Okay, let's go to the back. And here we go. Have St. Gisers. Unio Legend. Boy, boy, they're getting cheap and slow. And the proofreading is just right out of it. Union. Have St. Gisers. Union Legend on the back. Uh, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. DHA1. And then Senna says, Ummin. Legend. I'm in Legend instead of Union. I'm in Legend. Marvel. Universe. Yeah, I'm not going to try that. And we have all the, you know, there's a UPC code probably for waffles. On the back, one for scale collectible figure. Armored Legend. Battle damaged version. Toy Fair exclusive. A fictional Toy Fair. So let's, he's already open, so let's pull him out of the box. There it is. Comes with a black molded blister, which is nice. Box is decent. There's the hook, what have you. Let's put that down. Box is decent, decent enough. And here's the little figure. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Full mobility on this pup. Arms move. Look at this. Not, it's not cheaping out there. Look at that. He's got full movement. Arms, shoulders, elbows, knees, hips. And he's got a light. Does this even still work? I didn't even check. And no, it doesn't. So, and his helmet flips up. There's Tony. There he is in there. Okay. A snap down? No, it's it's really no. Okay, there's no snappage going on there, so maybe somebody broke it when they played with it. No, that doesn't. There's no. Yeah, it's, yeah there's no. There's no snapping mechanism there at all. Battery needs to be replaced, so I am going to have to take this apart and replace it. Pull out the battery, which may or may not be corroded. If it is corroded, you take a screwdriver, you scrape the ends. You know, of the corrosion, maybe get in there with a little 99% rubbing alcohol, wash it a bit. Most times you can bring the light and the circuits or the uh, connection back to life. Okay, so there he is. Uh, like I said, these did come out on a set. I have seen them before. Uh, this is the only one that I own. Haven't bothered to order the others. Uh, that sometimes I don't order these because, you know, you know, toy collectors, they don't like to open things. So... You know, sometimes when I find these used like this, I actually prefer it because I don't want to be the one to crack its uh, seal. <laughs> okay, there it is. Avsen Gisers, Union Legend, the Hulkbuster. And we move on to the last one. This is really cool. This is a knockoff Godzilla. These can be found on eBay. I've seen a couple of them on eBay in various styles. There's one with uh, yellow fins. This one's got blue fins. They measure, he's 12 inches tall. And he's actually two feet long, head to tail. And he's made with a sort of a soft vinyl. Okay, so it's not a hard plastic, it's a soft vinyl. And here's the voice box. It's really cool. Get ready. Is that cool? That sounds just like him. It sounds just like him. Once more. Okay, so now the paint is rough. I'm not, you know, it's, he's just like quickly dry brushed. This is airbrushed, just, you know, really quick, cheap, bare bones. But it's cool, man, it's cool. The jaw flexes. Let's get a close up of the head there, okay? So you can see the paint is just slapped on really quickly. But that's all right, man. It's a knockoff. That's what they're supposed to look like. That is the fun and frolic of these things. On the bottom, again, no identifying marks on this beast at all. Um, he came fully like this. I, I, Interestingly enough, when I got this one, also, I found this one. Dinosaurs, rubber dinosaurs are popular. This isn't a knockoff. This is just a rubber dinosaur. It's a Parasaurolophus, denoted by this type of cresting. It's a plant eater. These have been on Jurassic Park. But anyway, I picked this one up because... <laughs> I mean, normally I wouldn't pick it up. But for the little Godzilla voice box, I'm picking it up. Now, like this one is very soft. He's a much softer rubber. 
okay? And he's got some foam fill. Which one's better? <laughs> oh man, it's so cool! So cool! Oh, Parasaurolophus. Okay, let's put the Parasaurolophus over there. This Godzilla, actually, I forgot to mention, this guy weighs like over a pound. So he's got some nice weight to him. Anyway, guys, there it is. That is it. This is the Value Village Hall. Stuff you can find at Value Village. And it's really easy to find knockoff toys when they're there. Because really, nobody, nobody's picking this up. Nobody. Only Johnny Bananas is stupid enough to <laughs> hand over money for knockoff toys. Somebody has to, and that somebody is me. Anyway, guys, if you like the show, if you want to see more of them, by all means, please click that little like button and notification subscribe so you can get all these cool little knockoff toys coming your way when I release them. You've been watching Stark Raving Hazelnuts. This is your buddy Johnny Bananas, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you